Good morning, YouTube, for Thursday, August the 10th, 2017. I'll be in the book of Luke, the sixth chapter, the 38th verse this morning. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again from the King James Version Bible. Good morning, everyone. Gather around, pull up a chair on this beautiful day. I am so, so ready, so ready to go home, to be caught up in the clouds, to be our puzzle, to meet Jesus in the air. I am so ready to go home. I'm going to have a little bit of my coffee. Let me know what are you going to share in the comment section below with Pastor Dave this morning. I'm not going to be on here too long. I got some appointments with our ministry this morning in the city of Flint, and uh, I will be heading out to Flint and uh, uh, Burton, Michigan, and Mount Morris today. So keep our ministry lifted up in prayer. I'm feeling a lot better with my uh, back pain. I finally, being stubborn, I've finally taken the advice of a lot of my viewers and friends on Facebook that are talking about turmeric. So I went and I got this. Uh, a friend on Facebook uh, has been taking this and it has helped them immensely. And this morning is day three of taking a capsule in the morning and one in the evening. And this is the product that they recommended I get. And I want to tell you, I am virtually pain Free. I can get around, I'm mobile, I can move, and I'm getting back stricter on my ketogenic diet and cutting out the carbs. And Talk about reducing inflammation. This is just a all-natural turmeric, so I'm feeling a whole lot better. One more sip of coffee. Hang on. Isn't it a beautiful day? I don't know. what. What's the weather like where you live? Next, what's the weather like over there across the pond? Hang on. Hang on. All right, a lot of stuff going on, and we're in the end times, and a lot of uh, Christian brothers and sisters are getting worried, and should they get a bunker, build a bunker, get a gas mask with what's going on with North Korea? We're living in the end days, and these things must come to pass. And it's a very, very concerning time for everyone involved. You've got a dictator uh, in Kim Jong-un in North Korea now threatening a missile strike on Guam, which would be a bad idea, a bad mistake. It could, not to promote fear, it could, uh, it could just catapult the United States of America into a world war, World War III. And uh, I just kind of got a feeling we're so close to going home. We got this uh, August 21st, it's August 10th, August 21st, this uh, uh, eclipse, and there's so much happening. That's happening and everything is ramping up so fast and furious, fast and furious right now. If they were to fire an ICBM in the direction of Guam, you've got uh, Japan now uh, with their missile defense and ready to knock any missile out of the sky. Our allies have come together, but China, China is a main player along with Russia and they are backing the North uh, Korean uh, regime with Kim Jong-un. We're going to have to see. It's kind of like uh, the clock is ticking. What will be the next move in this end time, end time game that's being played? Jesus is not playing games. Neither is the Father. He is not playing games. It's time now to get right with God or to be left. I see on the news, I guess Hillary Clinton just uh, couldn't make it in politics and she her dream of becoming a president and commander-in-chief uh, fell to the wayside. So now I see she's uh, been uh, uh, speaking with a, a pastor of uh, the United Methodist uh, Church that she attends, and she wants to become an ordained minister. I can see it now. I can just see it now that uh, how many gay marriages will she perform? And we're living in the end times. I love you guys heading out to Flint and uh, Burton and Mount Morris. 
keep my son lifted up in prayer. It's a trying time. It's a very trying time and uh, a lot going on financially here at home. Ministry announcements, there have been no offerings at all to our ministry. And the, the clock is ticking. The devil is really, really trying to discourage me and my family. The devil is coming after us with everything. The devil knows I was going to preach in Tennessee. Satan is serious on uh, the 26th through the 28th. Doesn't want me to go. The devil wants to destroy all of our lives and to bring us down. Pray for the situation here, our financial situation at home. If you would like a, to make an offering to our ministry and outreach to the homeless, we need your help desperately. Again, no offerings have come in. I'll put the links below. God bless you.